Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing an Abercrombie try-on haul. You guys loved my last haul so much, so I'm really excited to bring y'all another try-on haul. I am so grateful for the opportunity to get to work with Abercrombie and to share these pieces with y'all. So if you like these videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let the brand know that you really like these videos, that you find them helpful, and that just gives me more opportunities to film these for y'all. I'm five foot two, just for reference, and like all of my hauls, I will be sure to have everything linked down below in the description box in the order that I talk about it, as well as my thoughts on sizing and all of that. But let's go ahead and get into the video. We should have a good amount to go through, and I believe all of these should be spring and summer pieces. All right, so we have got quite a few things to go through here. I'm seeing some really great colors and some fun patterns. So let's just start with what's on top here. First thing right on top is this beautiful, beautiful dress. I saw this one online and I just, I knew I had to try it. It looked so amazing. So this is a very, very ruffly, fluttery dress. And I just thought this would be such an amazing wedding guest dress or like dress for the beach. It is so pretty. It's got this beautiful open back and obviously it's gonna look so much better once I've got it on. But I believe it is either a midi or maxi. I can't remember, but it is like a very long dress. And I think it also comes in black and maybe white, but I know it comes in black. I just thought this was such a a stunning neckline though and I love how the ruffle goes from the neckline into the straps so I'm very excited to try this one on I love the open back all of the ruffles it looks so pretty though there's such a unique pattern I really really like this one I feel like they've been doing a lot of like very watercolor inspired patterns so very into this one this is the blue dress and it is so stunning on this would be such an amazing wedding guest dress i think this is just so striking i love the length it definitely is more of a maxi than a midi dress but i just think all of the ruffles are so nice and i love the deep v i've just got it on with some sticky boobs and then the back here is open it ties in the back so you can adjust it however tight you need it and then just so many great layers and it just moves so so beautifully i love the fabric it just feels very elegant and really really pretty i got i believe one pair of shorts these are a kind of linen style short they have a stretchy waist and they also seem like a really great length i didn't want anything that was like too crazy short i feel like that's not really my style but i really really liked these because they looked like they were gonna cover everything but also not be too long i feel like the long short trend has also been in and i really like it on people who are a bit taller than me but i'm five foot two and shorts already like run a little bit long on me it looks like so the long short trend i have tried <laughs> And I've got to say, it's not for me. But these look like they're going to be a really great length. They look like they're going to be high-waisted. They've got pockets. And I love this material. It has like a tiny bit of texture in it. It's really, really pretty. And I don't think they are lined. So you're definitely going to want some tan underwear with these. So keep that in mind. Oh, wait. They are lined. But you still probably will want some tan underwear to wear with those. These are the shorts. And I really love how high-waisted they are. My belly button like right here so they go up pretty high i've got my sweater tucked into them but they're super super comfortable because of the elastic in the back i love that there's elastic in the back but you don't see it here in the front and then it also has these really nice kind of subtle pleats in the front and i love that there's no bulkiness with a zipper or anything like that but you do have pockets i think they're a really great length i feel super comfortable in these i don't think they're too long but they're not that revealing so they feel really really good on and i just love a kind of white crisp linen for spring and summer next up i got a kind of like tube top i haven't worn a strapless top i think ever middle 
high school? I definitely wasn't wearing one in middle school. Actually, that's not true. Um, maybe high school. I haven't worn one in college, I don't believe. I could be remembering incorrectly, but I'm like pretty sure I have not worn a strapless top in a very, very long time. But I really love this one again. I feel like Abercrombie is doing a really great job with their like watercolor pastel patterns. And this one actually does come with straps so you can pop those on. But I thought this would be really, really pretty with some white denim and like a heel with your hair up and a clip. It could just be a really nice kind of spring, summer, dinner vibe. You can obviously throw the straps on if you want, but I actually had intended to wear this strapless. So I'm very excited about this. I ended up getting everything I believe sized down. Again, I'll have the actual size that I got in the description box. I'm typically right between an extra, extra small and an extra small depending on the fit. And sometimes I've found that if I do the extra, extra small, it is way too tight, but sometimes I've found that it still fits perfectly. So I'll have all that down below in the description box so you can kind of see where on the scale I landed, but I'm usually like right between the two sizes. This is the sleeveless top and I think it's so cute. I love this pattern. I also think it would look adorable with the straps. They're seriously just like little thin straps that you attach, but I love the way that it looks with some high-waisted white denim and then I've just got on a colorful heel but all of these patterns are like so pretty and I love all the colors that they've been using so I'm very excited to wear this possibly like to an event or to a dinner or something like that but I think it's so cute and I do like the fact that you can just throw the straps on in case you want to wear it not strapless. Next up, we've got a dress and this one is really, really unique too. So this is kind of like that same linen material as the shorts. I'm not sure if it's actually linen, but it's a really kind of lightweight cotton material. This one is lined as well, just like the shorts. I'd still wear it with like a tan bra, tan underwear, but it's this kind of like mini dress with a cutout in the front and then it ties here in the back. This one will definitely look better as I try it on, but I thought I would get spicy with the cutouts. This is the cutout dress and I've got it on with a black sandal. I really like how chic it is. It feels like such a unique design. It's super high-waisted, so it hits kind of right on top of the hips and then it also comes down pretty low. So even though it's a cutout, it doesn't feel super revealing. It feels like a really great kind of alternative to a matching set, but I love the collar on the top. I didn't even notice that when I had pulled it out of the bag, but the collar's really nice. It's got a great sleeve length and I love that it ties around the back so you don't have have to worry about it coming untied because you also have this clasp here in the front so it feels very secure even though it is kind of like a wrap top it doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere and even though it's a cutout it's not super revealing at all I've got it on with just some tan underwear and I feel like it works perfectly fine I don't feel like it's very revealing so really love this as like a dinner option or you could definitely wear it for like a bachelorette or something like that it's really, really cute. Next up is a tank that I just really, really loved. I'm loving their colors and patterns right now. And this one I just thought was really cute. So I got this one in this really pretty kind of orange. It cuts really deep here. So I feel like you probably can't wear it with a normal bra. You'll probably want it with some kind of like sticky boobs but I do think that it's like a textured enough material where if you decided to wear sticky boobs or no bra at all, you probably would be fine because it's not gonna be like see-through. I just really like this color. I thought it looked so good with white denim, with blue denim, and it's ribbed, but also has a super fun, almost like tie-dye effect to it. But I love anything that has kind of like a high neckline, especially on a tank, I think it's super sleek. How cute is this top? Oh my gosh, I love this one so much much this is a really great ribbed knit because you can wear it with sticky boobs or probably no bra and you should be good to go i've just got sticky boobs on and i feel really great in this top i love how high of a neck it is but then it also like comes in here so you can I don't know, the silhouette of this is just really, really flattering. I've got it on with the 90s cheeky jean or 90s straight jean or high rise something from Abercrombie. These are so good. And then I've just got it on with a white heel, but I love this tank so much. I think it's like the perfect pop of color without being too bright or too loud. And it just gives me all of the spring and summer vibes. 
I think this outfit is so cute. Okay, so Abercrombie I saw actually just launched some, oh my gosh, I'm dead. They, <laughs> I, I was like, these look tiny. It's because they are literally Abercrombie kids for five and six year olds. They must have accidentally sent these. Oh my gosh, the moose. You guys remember the moose. Um, this is not for me, this is for a child. Maybe my neighbors would want it. They have kids, I can just send them over there, they're little bike shorts. Anyway, sorry, as I was saying, that was so weird. I was like, five, six, kids, not mine. They recently launched some active wear, which I'm so pumped about because they have workout shorts, running shorts, leggings, tanks, bras, all that stuff. And they released these running shorts that are lined and I am like so obsessed with my free people movement running shorts. I wear those all the time, but I will say that they are, they're lined in the sense that they have like an underwear liner in them. Whereas these shorts have like a built-in bike short to them. So these ones are not gonna be too short. You can throw bike shorts under the free people ones, which I do pretty regularly if I'm like going to the gym and I'm not just running, but I'm also doing squats or something like that. Like I want something under those shorts. So I'll put bike shorts under them during that. If I'm running outside, I don't really care, but it's nice that these you can run in and they have the built-in bike shorts. So they come in a bunch of different colors. I got them in this kind of stone taupe color and I'm honestly, so excited to try these. We're going running today, so I'm gonna try them out, but they've got pockets here in the front. They are high-waisted. They've got a stretchy waist. And I'm trying to see, the only thing about these, which is actually really nice about the Free People ones, are that I don't know if these have a key holder pocket, and you want some sort of pocket to slip a key in when you're running. So, I'm trying to see if in the liner it's got like a little pocket. I'm like taking these shorts apart right now. Oh, they do. Okay, perfect. So, right here in the liner, they've got a little key pocket. You throw a key in there and you can keep it safe. Also, I will note the liner has aeration in it, which is really, really nice. So, I'm very excited about these. Like, truly so pumped for these. And if these work out really well, I'll probably have to grab some more because I just love, I love the style of these because they're not super revealing like the free people movement ones. So I'm very excited to try these on. I also got the matching tank bra and this has some very light padding in it. But what I really liked about these is that it's kind of similar to the free people tank bras, the like square neck, I think they're called Happiness Runs Square Neck Bra, and I like them because they don't have a racer back. I really don't like running with a racer back on because I feel like it leaves the weirdest tan lines, and it's something that I'm just particular about. When I saw that they had this, and it's just very clean cut, almost like a tank top, I was very pumped. So, I'm excited. Cute little matching workout running set. I'm gonna wear that today. This is the active wear top and shorts. The shorts are a total win. I am obsessed with these. They've got the liner. They're so, so comfortable. And I really like the size that I got. The top itself is a little bit too tight. I think I sized down on the top and the shorts, which I'm glad I sized down on the shorts, but for some reason this top is like so tight. So I think I'm gonna have to exchange it for an extra small because you can definitely see like in my armpits that it's a little bit snug. I definitely want it to be fitted whenever I run or work out because it's more comfortable that way. But for for just wearing or like going on a walk or anything like that, I think it might be a little bit too snug. So I'm gonna see about exchanging it for the next size up. But I do love this color and this fabric and this whole line I think is so sleek looking. I love the idea of it being a matching set, but I definitely need to exchange this top because I feel like it is really, really cutting into my underarms. Next up is a really pretty top again very watercolor inspired. I'm really loving all their prints right now. This is a cropped shirt and it's got a twist in the front. 
I love this pattern so much. And then it has a little fluttery sleeve, but I just thought this would be cute. Again, with white denim, blue denim, all the things. And then you can clasp it here in the top if you want it to be more like secure, or I believe you could probably like open it up and wear it more loose if you wanted to put on like a cute like lacy bra or something. This top is so cute. I love it with the shorts. I think they both hit in a really great place. These are definitely like very high waisted. So I think it works with a lot of the cropped shirts, but this is such a cute top. I've just got it on with some sticky boobs and I actually don't have it clasped, but I did size down, which I feel like makes it kind of cling to my chest, which is nice. So I don't actually feel like I need to do the clasp but I really love this tie here in the front. I think it's such a great pattern. I love the baby blue. It's almost like a floral pattern, but it's not quite like flowers. I do think the sleeve is adorable and I really love the way that it fits. I just think it fits really, really well for one of these types of like deeper V tops. I feel like sometimes these can be kind of loose and you just feel like they're flying open, but this actually feels really secure. So I love the way that it fits. It looks so good with the shorts. What a cute spring outfit. I saw this on their website and I got very excited for it. It's this really cute straw bag. I just thought this was a really adorable design and style and I love a straw bag for spring and summer. It's got a crossbody strap for it, but I really liked it because of the handles and I liked it because it was just small. I feel like most straw bags can be kind of huge, but I really liked the size of this one. So really, really adorable. Okay, I did get one swimsuit and I'm really excited to try it out because I've never tried Abercrombie swim before. So this, is a really pretty fun pattern. I think these are gonna be a little bit cheeky, but these ones are the high rise ones. They had a high rise version and then they had like a mid rise version that were more moderate, like they covered more of your booty, but I really liked the high rise. So I maybe should have gotten both to just try out if I'd rather have like a mid rise but more coverage or a high rise and more like cheeky vibes. But it's really hard to find a swimsuit that isn't cheeky in this day and age. But I just thought this pattern was really cute. Again, very watercolor and these ones are super high-waisted should be really really cute hopefully it won't be too revealing we shall see and then I got the matching top which is this kind of like wired top like this same pattern looked really cute online so we'll see how that looks okay so this is the swimsuit and I've got the tag still on it because I think I'm gonna exchange it for a different style. For some reason, this top just looks very strange on me. And I don't really even have that big of a chest, but I feel like it doesn't like fit me very well. So I think I might exchange it for a different size, like one size up, or I might just exchange it for a different style. They had a couple different style tops with each bottom. And then these are the bottoms. I've got my underwear on underneath them because I'm thinking about also exchanging these for a different style as well. I'm not like 100% sold on this suit as something that I would wear a ton, which is why I'm keeping the tags on, but I really loved the pattern and the colors. I'm just like very torn on if this is too revealing or not for me personally. So I'm gonna think on it. I'm probably gonna exchange it, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like on. I really do think if I like sized up in this, this would actually work, but because the bottoms are already a little bit like cheeky and this is a little bit too small, I think I might just go a different route with a swimsuit, but this is what it looks like. I'm sure it looks good on a lot of people, but I don't really love it on me. Next, I got a funky dress. I just thought this one was really cute. So I got this one in petite because it is a little bit like a, it is kind of like, a mini, but it's like a long mini dress. It goes kind of right above the knees, I believe. But I loved this pattern and color. The checkered is so amazing. And then I love the neckline on it. It goes like pretty high. This with like a claw clip would be really cute and a heel or you could wear it with a sneaker. I just thought this was adorable and it's more of like a knit pattern. So it should be super, super comfy to wear very stretchy. This is the dress and I've just got it on with some brown heels from Alohas, but 
this is such a great material because it is a really thick knit. I love that you can wear it with some kind of Spanx or you can wear it without. I actually don't have any Spanx on, so I've just got my normal underwear on and then like some sticky boobs, but I really love the material. It's super, super thick. And because there's so much pattern on it, you really can't see all that many lines or anything like that. So it really is such a great material to make such a fitted dress out of. But I think it's so cute. It looks so great with a leather jacket over it. Just got it on with a pair of heels, but you could wear it with some sneakers and really dress it down. I love the neckline on it. I just think this high neck with the thin straps is really, really pretty. So love this so much. And then the last thing that I got is this dress. And I just thought this one was adorable. So this one crosses in the back and the front is kind of like a pretty deep V. It's a really pretty cotton material. I think this one also came in a bunch of different colors and I think this one should hit kind of mid thigh, but I just thought this with the sandal would be really cute. It's a very classic kind of beachy dress. You could throw a denim jacket over it, a leather jacket over it, a cardigan over it and just wear it during the spring. So very pumped for this. Okay, this is the dress and I did not realize this until I put it on, but guys, it has built-in shorts. How perfect is that? Honestly, this is ideal because it is a little bit shorter. You can see it, it's not even really mid-thigh, it's kind of like a little bit higher than that, but the fact that it has built-in shorts means that you don't have to worry about the length at all, and I just, I'm so grateful for that. I love the style of this, though. It almost looks like it's a halter top, but it's not. It has these straps that cross in the back, and they're elastic, so they are really, really comfy. And then it's got this, like, deep plunging neckline, so I just think this is such a cute dress. Again, you could wear it for a bachelorette, or you could just wear it for a picnic or something like that, because you have the built-in shorts. I've got it on with these woven clogs and then this is the woven bag I just think it's so stinking cute you can wear it on your arm like this or down by your side or as a crossbody. But that is everything from this Abercrombie haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below in the description box with what size I got. If you found it helpful though, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know what your favorite piece was. And if you're new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.